so uh, let us talk about uh, hdl high density lipoprotein uh, estimation hdl uh, we will estimate uh, from the serum sample by once again an enzymatic method uh, we have a uh, uh, hdl cholesterol buffer and uh, hdl cholesterol uh, precipitating reagent uh, and uh, hdl uh, cholesterol enzyme re uh, reagent the it contains enzyme uh, cholesterol esterase as well as cholesterol oxidase two enzymes are present so it comes into the powder form and it is to be reconstituted with uh, 10 ml of this buffer reagent so we have already done that this is uh, the enzyme powder cholesterol oxidase and cholesterol esterase two enzyme mixed with 10 ml of buffer and uh, cholesterol stand hdl cholesterol standard that is 50 milligram per deciliter uh, this is what uh, comes with the kit the principle is principle is that uh, when we add serum uh, with this cholesterol oxidase and cholesterol uh, esterase enzyme uh, there will be cholesterol uh, with the ldl vldl also so first uh, what we do is we take uh, 100 microliter of serum and 100 microliter of this precipitating reagent what is the, this precipitating reagent contain it contained uh, polyvinyl sulfate and uh, another uh, that is uh, polyethylene glycol methyl ether uh, both of these precipitates ldl vldl and other cholesterol uh, so then we centrifuge and take the supernatant uh, so that will not contain LDL uh, and VLDL and other cholesterol that supernatant we mix with this uh, uh, two enzymes uh, in the uh, enzyme reagent that is cholesterol oxidase and cholesterol esterase so first cholesterol esterase will separate fatty acid and cholesterol and then cholesterol oxidase will oxidize it to produce uh, uh, the cholestenone and H2O2 and H2O2 will be uh, measured by uh, hydroperoxidase the same uh, what we have talked in PG estimation same HPOD enzyme will give a color quinanamine dye will form and uh, that color will be measured at the spectrophotometer uh, okay people first we will mix serum with the HDL cholesterol precipitating reagent which will remove LDL VLDL so I will label this uh, a tube as S for sample preparation and uh, what I am going to do is uh, uh, I will add 100 microliter of serum and uh, mix with it 100 microliter of precipitating reagent so I am adding serum and uh, This is 100 microliter of precipitating reagent I will add. And uh, we need to centrifuge. So this is total 200 microliter mix. And this is to be centrifuge and supernatant is to be taken. So I will take 200 microliter of water uh, in another tube for balancing the into the centrifugation <clears throat> so let me set to 200 microliter so i hope you understand we are precipitating the <clears throat> other cholesterol and uh, we will have only hdl cholesterol that we will uh, react with the enzyme reagent cholesterol esterase and cholesterol oxidase okay so now we have a two tubes one is sample and another is just balancing tube both contain 200 microliter we will go for, for 10 minutes, minutes at 2 to 3000 rpm so we have set uh, centrifugation at 3000 rpm I have to press lead right so I will put uh, across the two tubes for balancing and we press run so now we will spin it for 10 minutes and after 10 minutes we will see uh, 
the tube and uh, precipitate will be thrown and we will take up the supernatant for our uh, HDL analysis. So centrifuge is over. Let us come to see what has happened. So this is our sample tube and uh, you don't see much thing like precipitate, maybe transparent. So we'll take 50 microliter from the top of this. Uh, without shaking, we will take this uh, for the, uh, you know, mixing in the lab. Okay. One ml of enzyme reagent in all the three tubes. Now I'm adding 50 microliter of this uh, centrifuge sample. So from the top, I will take uh, without disturbing much 50 microliter. So this will serve as our serum which we have treated with the precipitating reagent to get rid of LDL, VLDL, chylomicron, etc. cholesterol. So our sample uh, 1 ml reagent I will mix here 50 microliter of this. Okay. So our sample tube is ready now and uh, I will also have to add standard cholesterol. But before that, I will use uh, water for balancing into the blank because 50 microliter. So I use first water so I don't have to change the tip. Okay, so blank uh, plus 50 microliter of distilled water. And uh, in the tube T, 1 ml of reagent with the cholesterol standard supplied with the kit. The concentration of cholesterol standard supply is 50 milligram per deciliter. Okay. So now all the three tubes are mixed. You can see the standard is already showing some color. Taste is also. But anyway, we have to incubate these at 37 degrees centigrade for 10 minutes. Uh, okay. So we'll incubate for 10 minutes and then we'll read. Take reading at 540. For HDL cholesterol, we need to set spectrophotometer at 540 fine nanometer and uh, the filter should be at 4 so I will take reading of uh, we have a pre-cleaned cuvet uh, so I will take the reading of uh, first set it with the blank so for blank we use a uh, percent transmittance mode and uh, let the 100% light transmitted through the reagent blank. So it is showing slightly more than 100. So I will adjust it exactly 100. Okay. So Yeah, this is set at 100 and if we check absorbance, it is showing 0. So our uh, spec is set with this reagent blank. So first I will take a uh, reading of uh, taste. Now this was containing uh, reagent and 50 microliter of water. So no need to wash the cuvette because it is same reagent and the 50 microliter of our centrifuge sample supernatant we have taken so let us take the reading of our taste okay so the reading shows 0.156 okay so we'll calculate how much of hdl means 0.156 so let me wash the cuvette and take reading for standard now okay so standard cholesterol supplied in the kit is uh, 50 milligram per deciliter hdl hdl should be you know good it's considered good cholesterol it should be high 50 to 60 milligram hdl uh, milligram per deciliter is good uh, below 40 is considered not good. Okay. 
so the reading is 0 0.132 0 0.132 so standard uh, is 0 0.132 let's calculate okay we will calculate hdl using this formula hdl cholesterol milligram per deciliter equals to absorbance of taste upon absorbance of standard into 100 so our taste reading was uh, 0 0.156 and standard reading was 0 0.132 so hdl cholesterol absorbance of uh, taste was 0 0.156 upon 0 0.132 into 100 and uh, if you do that point uh, 0 0.156 upon 0 0.132 uh, 1.18 into 100 so it comes to 118.18 milligram per deciliter as I said it should be higher than 60 milligram per deciliter so this is uh, uh, good at higher the HDL uh, good is the cholesterol transport to the liver so the person is not at risk of coronary heart disease.